The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and today we're going to explain shareholder oppression in Illinois. Shareholder oppression is basically when the controlling shareholders in a company unfairly take advantage of minority shareholders. Minority shareholder uh, is anybody who owns less than 50% of the stock or doesn't have a controlling interest in the company. So the Illinois Business Corporation Act defines shareholder oppression as occurring when the majority shareholders or directors of a non-public corporation act in an illegal, oppressive, or fraudulent manner with respect to a minority shareholder or when they misapply or waste a company's assets. Oppressive behavior is a term of art, and that's defined as behavior that is arbitrary, overbearing, or heavy-handed. There's no definition exactly of what types of behavior uh, you know, constitute shareholder oppression in the Business Corporation Act. This has been, uh, you look to case law precedent to figure out whether types of behavior might be considered oppression, but courts look at it on a case-by-case -case basis. The following types of behavior are examples of behavior that has previously been found to be shareholder oppression. That's attempting to push out a shareholder by forcing him or her to sell shares at an unfairly low price. Freezing out a shareholder, uh, rendering his or her ownership irrelevant be because of the structure of government of the company or of the way the company is paying dividends. Diluting a minority shareholder's interest in the company unfairly. Uh, paying personal expenses for some shareholders or directors with corporate funds, uh, and denying access to records or notice of meetings to shareholders. So if you've been a victim of shareholder oppression, the Business Corporation Act makes the following remedies available. And this is a, these are all listed in the Act. And it's whatever basically fits your situation in order to make you whole as a shareholder that the court will order if you file a shareholder oppression claim. Performance, prohibition, alteration, or setting aside of any action of the corporation or its officers and directors. So basically, um, functioning within the corporation to force the corporation to do things or undo actions that it's already done. Altering the bylaw, bylaws or articles of incorporation, so making actual changes to the governing documents for the corporation. Removal of directors and officers or replacing directors and officers with new directors and officers. So the court can appoint directors and officers as it sees fit and remove directors and officers as it sees fit. Uh, requiring an accounting with respect to any issues that are in dispute. An appointment of a custodian to manage the corporation or manage the business affairs of the corporation. Payment of dividends. Monetary damages to the shareholder that's been injured by the shareholder oppression. Sale of the minority shareholders' interest in the corporation to the other shareholders at a price determined by the court, uh, or dissolution of the corporation. And now it's important to note that courts will only dissolve the corporation if all of the other rem remedies that we just talked about are insufficient. So if you have any questions, uh, you can leave them in the, the comment section below this post at learn-about-law.com or below the video on our YouTube station. If you need some help, please give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. If you found this helpful, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to us on SoundCloud, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your podcasts or watch your videos. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.